Cape Chronicle. I'm Jacob McClellan. Welcome back. Missouri's firearms deer hunting season is coming up soon. Here to talk about deer season is Kyle Booth. He's an agent with the Missouri Department of Conservation. Thank you for coming by. Thank you, Jacob. So what, what are the dates? When does, uh, when does deer season start this year? Our November firearms portion starts November 15th and lasts until November 25th. Are there any changes this year? What about the, uh, the bag limit? Yeah, there are. Uh, actually, Cape Dorado County, uh, we are allowed to kill another doe, actually, uh, or antlerless deer, most people call them. Uh, so you're allowed one antler deer and then one uh, antlerless deer or two antlerless deer. What, uh, what, what are the conservation areas around here that are open up that are open for, for hunting? You know, there's several conservation areas. The, the biggest one that we have is Apple Creek mm -hmm. Conservation Area. That is up in the north part of Cape Toronto County and, uh, you know, Mance Conservation Area, which is out near Millersville. Um, so in the Cape Toronto area, we have several big conservation areas that are great for, for our deer hunting. Okay, I see. You know, there was a, um, a major disease outbreak among deer in, in 2012. Um, I mean, have, have the deer populations, have, has, it, has it rebounded here since, since then? Yes, uh, in 2012, we had a, a major outbreak of EHD, was the, the name of the disease. EHD, that's a... Uh... Epizootic mm -hmm. hemorrhagic disease, okay. and uh, actually caused, oddly enough, by a, a fly, a midge fly. Uh, it bites the deer, and within you know approximately 20 days, the deer will end up dying. And uh, if you find those typically around waterways, uh, they end up dying near those. So yes, uh, the southeast region has seen a slight increase since the 2012 EHD outbreak. But uh, but populations have have, have improved since. Oh then, sure, yeah. yes, yes, especially in the southeast region, we have seen a slight increase over the past uh, few years. How, how about turkeys? How's, how's the turkey population doing here? Turkey population is doing well. Uh, we're seeing we're seeing good numbers uh, from the spring. Uh, we saw pretty good reproduction in the Cape Girardeau southeast region area, uh, in and throughout the state, I think. So you, you, you brought with us um, uh, a, a pamphlet here, and that really has all the information that hunters need for, um, for, 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 this, for this fall hunting season, correct? That's correct. This is the uh, 2012, I mean, I'm sorry, 2014 deer turkey hunting pamphlet, and uh, these are printed every year. Uh, so all hunters, turkey and deer hunters, need to look into these, uh, this pamphlet for rules and regulations. Why, why is it so important for hunters to make sure that they're properly permitted before they, before they, 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 they go out in the woods and uh, go hunting? Yeah, the rules that we have uh, are, are not that difficult, but the, there are some rules. And having the proper permit to hunt that proper game is, is something that you need to take, uh, take advantage of and, and look into this book and see what permits you need as a hunter to harvest certain animals. Um, can you do this online now? Sure, uh, well, you can. You can print off uh, permits online. We actually have a new app called uh, MDC Hunting App. Uh, we also have a fishing app as well, but the hunting app is excellent. You can, uh, you can go on there, you can print off your hunting and fishing permits uh, and deer tags and, and use those to, to harvest and to hunt, hunt deer and, and tag animals with. Oh, what steps should, should hunters take to make sure that they're, that they're safe while, um, while, while outdoors and while hunting? I would say that the number one thing that I would recommend to all hunters is to, especially during the firearms deer season, it's not only a recommendation but it is a law that you have to wear hunter orange and hunter orange hat and vest is required. Let, let's talk a little bit about, um, about chronic wasting disease. Um, w w what is this disease and, and have we found it in, in southeast Missouri among our deer uh, in, in this area yet? No, the, the disease has not been found so far in southeast Missouri. It has been found in some counties up in north central Missouri, but not in the southeast part of the state. Uh, chronic wasting disease can be found in uh, certain parts of the deer, uh, especially the spinal cord and uh, brain tissue and other deer can transmit or get those diseases, that disease from the deer by just touching the deer or eating around places where the, the carcass of the deer has been uh, thrown down on the ground. Can that be transmitted to other animals? Yes, uh, no, well the, the deer, yes, or cervids, but not uh, so far that we know of any other animals. So it can't be transmitted to, to cattle mm, or, no. or, or, or anything like that? No, not that we're aware of. Okay. Um, it, how can how can chronic wasting disease be controlled to keep it out of to keep it out of southeast Missouri? Well, animals that come in from other parts of the country, uh, different states, we need to make, take precautions on those animals. Make sure that uh, we take those animals to approved landfills uh, in order to be sure that those animals do not infect other deer, 
uh, in the southeast part of the state. So take them to an approved uh, processor or deer taxidermist is uh, the rules and uh, that we have in place for the, the deer from other parts of not only the state, uh, but uh, other states as well. Uh, real quickly, what are some of the things that the, that the Missouri Department of Conservation is doing to, to make sure young people and youth are getting involved in outdoor activities and, and hunting and things like that? That's right. Future generations is where it's at. Uh, without future generations and kids, uh, we're not going to have a future. So when it comes to hunting and, and managing the deer populations, we actually have youth seasons, November 1st and 2nd, uh, 2014, and January 3rd and 4th, 2015. We've been talking today with Kyle Booth. He's an agent with the Missouri Department of Conservation. Kyle, thank you so much for coming by to talk with us. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank you, Jacob.